You might have brushed your teeth with Tharlo Blue this morning. Throughout history, blue pigments have been particularly prized because they were often rare, costly, or chemically unstable. But today, blue pigments are everywhere. In disposable packaging, inexpensive mass-produced items, and everyday household goods. One pigment, more than any other, has fueled this explosion of blue. The discovery of thalocyanine blue, often shortened to thalo blue, was accidental. In 1928, chemists at a dye plant in Scotland were manufacturing thalamide, which is a precursor to arzo dyes. They noticed that the reaction vessel had cracked, exposing the steel casing and resulting in the formation of a blue-green residue. Chemists found that the compound structure could be modified by adding metal ions. When copper ions were introduced, the result was a chemically stable blue, copper thalocyanine. This is the pigment we know today as thalo blue. It was celebrated as a major achievement of British chemistry. Today, thousands of tonnes are produced annually for automotive coatings, printing inks, artist paints, plastics, cosmetics and more. And you might even use it without knowing. Tharlo blue is often a colourant in toothpaste. The story of Tharlo blue is industrial. It's not as romantic as the mysterious discovery of Prussian blue or the far-flung origins of ultramarine. But Tharlo blue has played a huge role in making a once rare colour part of daily life.